didn't give it to me. I know the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. This mm -hmm. love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. I'm talking about this love that I have. The world didn't give it to me. world didn't give it to me. I know the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. Mm -hmm. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. I'm talking about this joy. I know the world didn't give it to me. I know this I know You know the world that you live in The world can't take it away You know sometimes we get frustrated, disappointed and thinking everything is against us but I know one thing This peace that I have <laughs> world didn't give it to me. I'm talking about this peace that I have. The world didn't give it to me. I know this. I know. I'm talking about the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. I know the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. I know the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. I know, I know, I know the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. Trinity. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall be continually in my mouth. We thank God for today. Thank God for being able to come out to his house of worship one more time. How many of you know that you are blessed? I'm not asking if you think you're blessed. But how many of you know that you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, and you're blessed? We know that we are in the right place at the right time. Thanks be unto God who gives us Victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. How many of you believe that on today? We thank God for those who have come to fellowship with us on today. Thank God for those who are watching us. Amen. On whatever avenue that we have allowed. Amen. We give praises unto God. We thank you for our devotion. We thank you for God's goodness in his grace. Amen. Thank God for amen. My voice. Amen. <laughs> Give God the praise and the glory. Our scripture for this morning comes from Psalms 11. Amen. Psalms 11. If you have your Bible, go with me into Psalms 11, beginning at verse 1. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Verse four says, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see. His eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous. But his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. 
Let him rain coals on the wicked. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cups. For the Lord is righteous and he loves righteous deed. And the upright shall behold his face. May God add his richest blessing to the reading, to the hearing of his word. Let's pray. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you have done, God. Thank you for keeping us when we could not keep ourselves. We pray your blessings upon this service. Everything that has already been said, already been done, already asked, we ask that it would be done in the name of Jesus. We give you all of the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. The church said, Amen. We ask that you would stand and turn your hymnals to page 79 at the cross, at the cross, page 79.
and the burdens rolled away. It was there. My side. Let's pray, Father. We come and we thank you for this that has been given in your name. We pray that you bless the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. ask that you would please stand, find someone to fellowship with from this morning, and welcome them to the service in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be happy. Be happy. Be glad. Amen. Tell somebody you're glad to see them. Amen. Amen. Good to see Brother Rogers. Amen. On this morning. Praise God. Continue to pray for you. Thank you. Amen. Pray for the Taylor family. Thank you for those who came and shared on Friday. Amen. Amen. Come on, find somebody. Other 
announcements pertaining to the Niagara Gospel Mission in terms of volunteers, and we ask that you would encourage one another to continue to come to give and to trust in the Lord. Amen. We're going to ask that the choir will come at this time for our selection. Oh, my soul loves him. 
Yes, my soul. Yes, to his will. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves him. Yes, to his will. Yes, to his way. And my soul loves Jesus. My soul loves him. How many, how many of you know that your soul loves Jesus? How many of you love Jesus, period, amen? Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you? Amen, amen. Thank you, choir. We thank God, amen. We prepare for our, our, our worship and tithes and offering as we come to give, remind you that God loves the cheerful giver. You cannot be God giving no matter how hard you try. Our giving prayer says, Lord, empower me to bless your kingdom. Your word declares that you will see to the sower. And I will give you nothing from my pocket that did not come from my heart. All I have is yours. And I will honor you with the first fruits and not withhold the tithe. The devourer is rebuked off of my life. I am faithful, productive, and fruitful. Therefore, let your blessings rest on my house. I just added something there that says to us, don't just attend church. Be a blessing in the church. Love the church. Serve the church. Be a giver in the church. Invite people to church. Be excited in the church. Encourage the church. Participate in the church. Pray for the church. Be active in the church. Support the church. Stay in the church. As the ushers come, we ask that you will give those who are watching us Cash App, Dollar Sign, TBCNF, Givelify, Niagara Falls, Trinity Baptist Church of Niagara Falls, New York. Amen. God loves a blessing. Blessed, cheerful giver. Why don't you give as God has blessed you to give on today?
God is Alpha and He's Omega. Hallelujah. Not only is He Alpha and Omega, but He's so holy. He is so holy that there are elders in heaven that are bowing down before Him. How dare we come into prayer without adoring God, without giving Him the praise that He deserves. We know that He is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. El Shaddai, Adonai, He is Healer and He is Deliverer. He is God Almighty all by Himself. I said, God, I am giving this song to you as an offering because you are so deserving of the offering that I have to give. Hallelujah. There are so many people who have reached out to me, my God, asking for prayer. Not just the ones that are on the prayer list, but I, I have Bridget who is here. My sister had a stroke. She said, I need you to pray for my sister. I said, I'm praying. Sister Tara Rodwell asked me to pray for her. She said, she's in pain. God. Aunt Benesby was in pain. Gage said, would you pray for my mother, my God. Sister Kim Rose is, is having an issue. My God. And she said, would you pray for my grandson who lost his other papa? There are so many prayer requests that are in this sanctuary. But I'm here as a conduit. Because I believe with everything that is within me that God does answer me. I'm not here for play. I'm not here for show. I know that God, he does answer me. So if you have a need, if you have a request, come on and meet me at the altar because we are going to believe God like never before. There are things that are going on in this country that is going to be shifted come Wednesday morning. So we need to seek God for prayer like never before. Hallelujah, Mark is here because God has touched him. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all can do better than that. Y'all can do better than that. Tamika is here because God is a healer. Y'all can do better than that. My husband is here because of prayer. Y'all can do better than that. Hallelujah. Still praying for my father in love. I so believe God to heal that man. Hallelujah. I so believe God to heal Dick and Jimmy Hardaway Sr. I'm here standing in the gap for my mother who is traveling to Istanbul, Turkey by herself. So I pray to God that he would put his angels right all around her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, petite woman but strong in stature. So Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus before I ask you for anything, I thank you. I thank you, God. Don't do it for me, God, but do it for them that do not believe. I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise because I know you to be Alpha and Omega. I believe you to be creator. I believe you to be the solution to the problem. I believe you to be the answer to the problem. I believe you to be the healer where there is sickness in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you for your power, God, because there is power, God, in you. Jesus, I thank you, I thank you, because you are seated right at the right hand of God. There's power in your name, Jesus. There's authority in your name. There is healing and deliverance in your name, Jesus. So 
we believe in you today, God, to do the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for your power in the name of Jesus. Now, God, I pray right now that you would move, God. But first, I need you to uproot and to pluck up any negative spirit that would try to hinder the prayers from going forth in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for far too long we have come and we have sat without giving you the glory and the honor that you deserve. You have been so good to us. You have been so kind to us. So God, I pray right now that you would remove, God, every hindering spirit, every hindering thought, every hindering word that would hinder, God, the prayers from going forth. Now, God, with everything that is within me, with every ounce of faith that I have, oh God, every name that I have called, I need you to shift. Oh God, I need you to shift, God, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm calling on you, God, because I need, God, these dry bones to live in the name of Jesus. I need you to go, God, to where Bridget's sister is, and I need you to restore every side, the left and right, God, and her brain, that her brain will communicate with every limb in her body. Oh God, it's never easy to lose a loved one. It's never easy for a grandchild to lose a grandparent. So I'm praying, oh God, for little Michael right now, God, that you would strengthen him in the name of Jesus and that you would visit him so he knows that you are real. The young people need to know that you are real and that you do perform miracles and that you do comfort and save. Oh God, wherever Annette may be, God, I pray, oh God, that you would comfort her as she travels back to Houston in the name of Jesus, God, as she leaves this place, God, where she has buried both of her parents, God, in the name of Jesus. We know that Brother Taylor was a pillar in this community. We know that his wife was also a pillar, God, and he will be missed, God, but we give you the glory, God, because you are this same Jesus. Oh God, continue to comfort the Rogers family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, continue to seal God, comfort God in peace. Now, God, I need you to jump over the Grand Island Bridge. And I need you to go, God, to my father-in-law's house, God. And I need you, God, to restore the right side of his body. I need you to touch his face. I need you to touch his arm. And I need you to touch his leg, oh, God. And I pray, oh, God, that he would give you a jump and a shout in the name of Jesus. He has been serving where he is for seven years God and I pray God that you would give him a few more years God to serve you in the name of Jesus oh God I know you to be a healer because my husband is sitting right here In the name of Jesus, God, and I pray right now that you would cover this man of God from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you would give him strength of voice in the name of Jesus, that you would give him power in his voice, God. He is your prince of preachers. So, God, I pray right now that you would restore him 100%. You make the devil out of a liar in the name of Jesus. You shut up the mouths of those who thought that he would not have full voice. The devil is a liar. God, you are still a healer and you are still a deliverer, God. He is your man servant in the name of Jesus. So we thank you for his life. We thank you for his ministry, God, in preaching. Now, God, everyone that's at this altar, God, they have come with a request and you know what that request is and I'm praying God that you would meet that request right now and I pray in the name of Jesus that this week we would receive divine visitation that we would receive supernatural outcomes God in the name of Jesus the healing and miracles and supernatural God was not just for the first century but it is for the 21st century in the name of Jesus now God 
I pray right now that there will be order on Tuesday, November 5th. I pray right now for this nation in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you would be pleased, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that this will be a nation that will remove barriers, God, break down walls of tradition in the name of Jesus, and let us be governed on the principles of Christianity in the name of Jesus to this nation under God. We pledge our allegiance to you in the name of Jesus. Now, God, come on, people of God, and God is getting ready to do it. You better put your hands together. You better clap like you're about to lose your mind. God, I thank you right now for the breakthrough. I thank you right now for the miracles. I thank you right now for the signs in the name of Jesus, God. Anybody having surgery, it's already done. Anybody, God, going through, God, anything that is negative, God, turn that negative into a positive in the name of Jesus. And those who are watching, especially Mary and Brady, I pray, oh God, that you would touch her, God. She's faithful. She broke her toe yesterday, God, her foot. So I pray that you would heal her in the name of Jesus. And after this, come on, people of God, don't get tired. We're going to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. Oh, God, touch Mitchell as well. Touch this minstrel, God, in Jesus' name. We give you all the praise, God. We give you all the honor, and we give you all the glory. Now clap one time for your miracle.
while I'm singing, I want you to help me. While I'm singing, I want you to help me. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Oh, Lord, I want you to help me. While I'm shouting, I want you to help me. While I'm shouting, I want you to help me. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Oh, Lord, I want you to help me while I'm praying. While I'm praying, I want you to help me. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Oh, Lord. I want you to help me. something that kind of just 
He remembers like he went through his form. All of his brothers and sisters are deceased. He could name every one of them yesterday. He named them as they were born. But then it's the other things he says that, that, that and it's, it's hard for him to understand that he says that I just don't have any thoughts in my mind. He says, I just, you know, he says, he says what he normally does. So. And so we're doing things at the house looking for things that he says, I, I, I know I got it, but I don't know where it's at. And we just try to tell him, you know, it's hard when you see your parents not like they used to be. Anybody, your loved ones. Um, and so I, I've been doing some things uh, that he would usually do weekly. He goes to my mom's grave, cleans it off, and I went out there and cleaned it off. So ironic, I cleaned your mother's grave off. But this week too, I saw it there. I said, let me just clean it off. I just started cleaning off graves because it's just the simple things. Amen. You do, but I want to say, my wife just sent me a text says, don't forget to say thank you to everyone who has reached out, those who have called, those who have sent cards, and all of those things. Um, thank you. until the 
day of Jesus Christ. I want to talk on this subject. God is not done with me yet. God is not done with me yet. Somebody, you ought to just put your hand on yourself and say, God is not done with me yet. When everybody else gives up on you, don't you give up. But say, God is not done. I don't care what you are going through, what sickness is in your body, what folks are saying about you. God is not done with me yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, today I stand before you with a heart full of gratitude, even amid recent challenges. This last month has indeed been a time of living it. Amen. We talk about, we use the phrase that we are lifing it. And uh, when I wrote that down, uh, uh, word corrected it. So I said, okay, I'm living it. Amen. Because I'm living through, but I'm making it through as well. We've had ups and downs. We've had uh, things that have happened like that has been surgery, multiple surgeries of people that I see here, amen. It's Tamika Mark and, and many others, amen. We have gone through some things, even the shadow of death. But in the midst of it all, one scripture kept circulating in my heart and in my mind that saying, be confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you that God is not done with me nor with you yet. And let me go a step further and tell you that God is just starting what he can do with every one of us. I think that, you know, I've been around a long time, but God has got something brand new about to happen. You just prepare. Are you preparing yourself? Are you in anticipation? Because I see circumstances, even in my life, where I thought that it might be the end, and now God has said, no, 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 baby, it's just the beginning, what you're about to receive. The confidence that we have in God's word. Paul begins this letter with a powerful assurance and he says again, being confident in this very thing, he didn't have any shallow optimism. He had a deep-seated confidence that came from knowing who God was. Paul was confident, and that's what God had begun in the lives of the Philippians. He would carry through to completions. I remember, I remember, I remember many years ago, meeting with a group, a man, and at the group end, someone said to me, they said, you know, that it, it appears to me that you are very arrogant. And I looked at them, and I said, no, sir, I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident. Because I know what God has done for me. I will not stand back and diminish who I am to please you. But I will stand and say that God is and has a place for me. Anybody here, do you know today that God has a place for you? You ought to be confident. You, there comes a time, you as Christians, you don't have to walk around with your head down. You don't have to walk around being ashamed or letting people make you lower than they, then you know that you are. You ought to walk with your head high. You ought to walk with a thank you, Jesus, that I'm going to make it anyhow. Do I have any witnesses here? Paul had a confidence. He had a deep-seated confidence that came from knowing who God was. Paul was confident that what God had begun in the lives of Philippians, he would carry through to completion. And let's pause here just for a moment. When Paul says that he who began a good work in you, he is talking about a personal work that God starts in each of us the moment that we give our lives to him. 
And my brothers and my sisters, I want to remind you that God doesn't start anything without a purpose. That God has given us a purpose. That God has made us a purpose. He doesn't begin a work in our lives just to leave us halfway. But our God is a finisher. Did y'all hear what I said? He is a finisher. He started a good work in you, amen, and he intends to see it through. And since God is going to make sure that, he, you, that you are going to see it through, then can I tell you that all you got to do is buckle up? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Get ready for the ride, amen, because God is about to take you on an unbelievable ride. I wish I had a praying church today. God is ready to take you. And that's where our confidence lies. Not in ourselves. It doesn't lie in our strength. But in the God who began the work and promises to complete it. You see, my beloved, that God's work in us isn't a one and done situation. But it is a journey. It's a journey. It's a, it's a journey. It is a process. It's what the Bible calls basically essentially sanctification, becoming more and more like Christ every day. This is a journey that will continue until the day of Jesus Christ, until the day when he shall return. There, there's a famous, there is a famous saying that says that I may not be where I want to be, but thank God. I'm not where I used to be. Can I get so? Is there anybody in here that can say that that I've been some places? I've I, 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 I've been some some somewhere, but 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 God has moved me from where I used to be, and He has. I wish I had some witnesses there. Y'all act like I, I, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. That, that you, you know that God has taken you higher every day. That he has released you from some things. And he has released you from some people. He has released you from some habits. And he has released you from attitudes. Somebody ought to say, I'm not what I used to be. But thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God I'm not where I, I used to be. And that's the heart of this message. And I'm almost done because I said I wasn't going to preach. That's the heart of this message. God is transforming us day by day. He's working on me. He's working on me. You say, oh, it, I'm going through some things. How is it? God is working on you. He's preparing you. He's, he's got you almost like in a pressure cooker sometimes. But let me tell you, when you release the pressure, you just come out. Can I get some witnesses in? When I release the pressure, I'm ready to take off the top to see what's good on the inside. Can I tell somebody here, you might feel like you're in a pressure cooker today, but I dare you to wait <laughs> till the time is up. Wait, because there's something good on the inside. I guess I'll make those rings today like you asked. Amen. Uh -huh. there, there, there is a release. God is transformed forming us, amen. But day by day, he's taking us through seasons, sometimes through difficult trials, but he's refining and he's shaping and preparing us for something greater. In, in my own life, I, I've had my share of struggles, but I've also seen how God has used each hardship to build my faith. How, how and he makes me more like him. I know I know many of you have similar testimonies. I, I hope you got a testimony, but all of us ought to have some kind of testimony. Can, matter of fact, can I ask, do you have a testimony? Can you say that God has been good to you? Has God brought you out? Come on, somebody here. Don't be ashamed if God has brought you out. Hallelujah. You, 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 yeah. Times of hard struggles are the season, but God is molding us. He's, he's making us. He uses us as tools to draw us closer, makes us depend on him and remind us that he is still in control. But my brothers and sisters, here is the best part. The same God, the same God 
who began the work in you is going to finish it. Sometimes we feel we are taking two steps forward and one step back. You ever felt that way? I'm taking that two step, but I'm going back one. But that, but that doesn't change God's promise. He is committed to completing what he started. Amen. Paul was confident, not because the Philippians had it all together. Amen. God, uh, oh, let me say it again. He was confident, amen, not because the Philippians had it all together, but because God had it together. There are times in my life when I know I don't have it together. I, I, I may be able to fool some folks, but I, I know I don't have it together. But thank God for Jesus. Oh, and he is there to keep me wrapped up tied up keep me together is there anybody here says I've been all over the place it seemed like I was all over the place but thank God that he brought me back together again thank God it was almost like Humpty Dumpty had a great fall they said all the king's horses all the king's men couldn't put him back together again but guess what I'm not Humpty Dumpty I'm Jimmy the creator made me in his image and whatever and whenever I fall apart he's going to put me back together again he's going to put me back together again he knew that God had it all together. He knew God would never leave his work unfinished. Let me say this, church, if God has called you, he has also equipped you. God don't call you and just leave you out there. But God has equipped you. You just got to really find out what it is that God has equipped. God has equipped every one of us with something and it's not what other folks have. Let me help somebody here. This just came to me today. This just came to me right now. That God does not make us copycats of one another. We are unique. You, you, you uniquely made by him. And God has blessed us all to have something. Come on, help me here. That we can use for his glory. Stop trying to act like somebody. Stop trying to sing like somebody. You can't sing. You, you can't preach. You, you, you may not be able to do, but you got something that you can give God praise for. That's why I used to, I used to, I used to get joy when I used to hear people in the church and they used to talk about praising God. And they said that if I didn't have a voice to praise God, Mitchell, they said I just raised my hand. Sometimes all you got to do is stand. Can I get a witness? Sometimes all you got to do is shake your head. You might, you might not say anything, but, 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 but you, as long as you give God the praise, don't you worry how I praise him. You just praise him how you know how. I'm confident of this thing. He has equipped us. He has begun to work in us. He will sustain us. Our God is faithful oh, to the end. I'm done, y'all. Paul's kindness brought him comfort and joy. As believers, we have this hope too. Not only do we give thanks for what we have now, but we praise God for what is yet to come. Our journey of faith has a destination. We are moving forward, amen, toward the day of Jesus Christ. And everything will be uh, complete on that day. So can I say to somebody here today, when you feel weary, when you get tired, amen, remember that God is not finished. When you feel broken, remember that God is still working on you. When life seems overwhelming, rest in the promise that he who began a good work will complete it. And as I close, let me reflect on this truth, that God is not done with us yet. He's still working on me. He's still shaping me. He's still molding me. He's still got his hands on me. 
And as long as God got his hands on me, as long as God's working on me, as long as he keeps on turning me on the wheel, I can't wait to see what the end is going to be. Can I get a witness? But all I got to do is stay faithful and keep my eyes on him and trust his timing. Anybody here know that he is I think I got a little bit of my voice back and I said he is a on time God. He will I said he will show up good God Almighty show up right on time thank you Jesus I may not understand the twist in the turns but we are confident that he is guiding me and I'm going to walk by faith I may not see in front of me but I'm going to keep on walking by faith I'm going to hold on to his hand is there anybody here that's going to hold on to God's unchanging hand? I'm not finished. I'm just on my way. I'm not done. Just leave me for a little while. But when God gets through with me, I said when God gets through with me, Gonna come forth. Gonna come forth as pure gold. Is there anybody that can tell the Lord thank you? Tell the Lord thank you that He's still working on me. Tell the Lord thank you. He's still working on me. Tell the Lord thank you. He's still working on me. Tell the Lord. He's working on me. He's not done yet. Got a whole lot in front of me. But I'm going to hold on. Praise the 
the Lord. Amen. Is Mitchell okay?
Yes. He said today. He said today. <laughs> he said today. Is it her birthday? No, her birthday is not today. We're talking about the November birthdays, Pastor. All right, come on, bro, bitch. It's your birthday, but you get to play for your birthday. We're going to sing it the regular way today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.